Hey there coders. Uh, I've had some questions about how to upload Bitmojis to Scratch, so I thought I'd just make a quick video about it. So a Bitmoji is a character that you can use uh, as a personal avatar to represent you, and they have a whole bunch of different poses or stickers that you can use. And they're great for using maybe as your teacher character avatar uh, for your sprites in Scratch. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to bitmoji.com and sign up for an account. Once you've signed up for an account, the way that I get these stickers is I go to uh, Bitmoji Chrome extension. So if you just Google Bitmoji Chrome extension, you'll get this page and there's the link to add Bitmoji Chrome extension. You can go ahead and add it. You can see I already have added it on mine because it says remove from Chrome instead of add to Chrome. Once you've done that, you'll see up in Chrome, you've got a little sticker up here uh, in the upper right hand corner. I can click on that little icon and now it'll allow me to search Bitmojis. With this I can download whatever Bitmoji I want. I find that a lot of the uh, stickers that I want are actually in poses, uh, things that'll work, or if I type the word pose. You can see I've got lots of different poses when I type pose this way. Um, so I've got like a, a thinking face, a yay face, a woohoo face, all this type of stuff. A teacher waving, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these uh, if I wanted to uh, get myself, I guess, jumping with a sword. I can click on it, but it tells you right here, when I click on it, it says right click and choose copy image from the menu. So I can right click and I'm actually going to save image as. Once I've saved that image, I can save it wherever I want. So I'm just going to say uh, jumping with sword. And I'm going to save that wherever on uh, my computer that makes sense. So in my case, I've got a folder in my pictures with Bitmoji, uh, this character that I've got here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. So you can download as many of those as you want by, again, clicking on that Bitmoji icon once you've installed the extension in your browser and right-clicking on the Bitmoji and putting Save As. So go ahead and get as many of those as you want. Once you've got them, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to Scratch, start a new project or a project you already have where you want to upload these images. Go to, uh, let's create a new sprite to begin with. So I'm down here instead of Scratch Cat, I'm going to hover over the Choose a Sprite icon and click on the Choose a Sprite uh, search. Uh, and actually that's not what I want to do, I apologize. What I want to do is hover over the cat icon and upload a sprite, which is at the top of that menu. So go ahead and click on upload a sprite. And now what I need to do is I need to find uh, those sprites on my computer wherever I saved them, right? So you see here I've got a character uh, with a lot of those different poses that I showed you already. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this character, it's just kind of me standing still, right? So I'll just grab this with my arms at my side and I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now I've got that as a sprite with this character. Uh, but let me show you one more thing that I will do a lot of. So I've got this standing at arms at side. I'm going to rename this to um, me. So that sprite is now called me. Let's suppose many times uh, in my code or my program, I'm going to have my character change poses, but I still want it to be the same sprite. In that case, what I need to do is I need to give the sprite different costumes. So instead of uploading all of those different images as different sprites, I want to click on this one sprite and up here in the top left, it says Costumes. I'm going to click on the Costumes tab for this Me Sprite. And you'll notice the name of the costume is still Stand Arms at Side, whereas the name of the sprite is Me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a bunch of other poses by, once I'm in the costumes, going down to Choose a Costume, and again using the Upload uh, image for Upload a Costume. So I'm going to click on Upload a Costume. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab all of these dance uh, poses and I'm going to import all of them as costumes all at once. So dance one through six, if I go ahead and click on it, you can see I can import a whole bunch of different costumes uh, into this one sprite all at once. So I've got my standing at side and then I've got all of these dance poses which is uh, useful for me because what I might do is I might come back to my code and I might say okay well when I start off when I click the green flag I'm going to go ahead and go to looks and switch my costume to the standing costume. But then maybe when I click on my character, so I'll go to events and say when this sprite is clicked, 
I'm going to cycle through all of those dance moves um, kind of repeatedly to show a dance, let's suppose. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a repeat loop. I'll repeat this thing, let's say, six times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to looks and just say uh, next costume. And then I'm going to put a weight. So I'm going to click on control, go to weight. So I'll switch a costume. Then I'll wait for, let's say, a quarter of a second, 0.25. And now I can try this out. I can click on the flag. You see that I switch to this standing. And if I click on my character, now I've got a dancing emoji, right? So it kind of went through that pretty fast. Um, and apparently it repeated that six times. So that's about it. That's how you upload, uh, download emojis, and then upload them to your Scratch project. So go out there, have fun, and we'll see what you can create.